Hi! Good morning, guys. It's currently like 8, 8-ish in the morning, and I'm in our baby's room, which is unfinished, but I'll do a tour of that sometime. Um, and I'm super excited for this video, because it's my first video, and shout out to everyone who's watching, because I'm super grateful to have you guys. Like, it's my first video that I've been um, like planning to do for the longest time and I plan to do this video initially like probably when I'm 35 weeks pregnant or something but like a lot of crazy stuff happened and unexpected checkup things will I, where I will cover and probably like a little story time moment or something for you guys but right now I am in the baby's room finishing up packing for the hospital um so I'll, i think we pretty much have everything except for a couple things that i put in that basket that i forgot um but today i'm going to go to my second steroid steroid shot um ooh, the lighting in here there you go so for my second steroid shot, because BB might be coming sooner, he's like in a hurry. So without further ado, let's get started with the what's in my bag thingy or whatever. So this is the baby bag and this is our hospital bag. Okay, so we're going to start off with this one um this is a small decently sized suitcase um with all our like emergency hospital like clothes and stuff for us for me and my husband um so i don't know if you guys can see but i'll just take them out one by one so on this side i have our toiletries so I like keeping those little, you know, like the, like the plastic, like zipper containers you get with like bed sheets. <laughs> I keep those and I, I use them as like a toiletry travel case. So in here I have cleansing wipes. Um, I have... Our toothbrushes. So I got uh, our toothbrushes from the dollar store. Most of the stuff that I got that is in our toiletries bag is from the Dollar Tree. So you get two of these for a dollar and then two toothbrushes for a dollar. Of course, I'm very picky with the toothbrushes. I think they're Colgate. Um, Pepto, and I'm probably gonna pack some Tums because my husband gets very acidic. Um, and food at the hospital can sometimes like take forever. So he packed himself some Tums. A little mini toothpaste also from the Dollar Tree. Um, we're gonna be, we're just gonna be sharing like a mini travel size shampoo. I have a CeraVe moisturizer because I use that every day. And I, wait, I, no, I didn't lie. <laughs> um, I got some body wash. I thought this was my shampoo, but this is body wash. Um, that I got from, I didn't get this from the Dollar Tree. I got this from somewhere else, but whatever. <laughs> that is our toiletries bag. Okay, what else? So this side is pretty much like, um this side and this side has most of my stuff and then this side consists more of like my husband's stuff but this side i have a small towel i have some soft like slippers for the hospital which my our dog chewed <laughs> but i got these you put them in a bag so they're not mixed up with the clean clothes um and i got two robes 
So I got this Ugg one, which is like super, super comfy, like especially in the winter. But we're in Arizona, it's getting like really hot. So I'm hoping that the temperature at our room is like cold enough for it. Um, and I got a thinner one, um, a thinner, I think it's like Ralph Lauren, um, but it's polyester. So I don't know if it's gonna make any difference, but it's white and I plan on like, going into labor and giving birth in a robe because it's like just way easier and I don't really feel like wearing the hospital gown because you know how it like you wear it from the front but I might just like I don't know because I have a couple pajamas that I ordered that I might replace with the white robe because I don't want this to get all dirty you know how it's gonna get a little gory in there <laughs> a little bloody so I might just keep this gray one to be safe um so that's that for this side um, let me just put these up. on this side when you unzip this um if i could find okay so this side this is my postpartum travel bag with most of my underwear and like um, clothes, not clothes, but like a pair of um, maternity pajamas that I might be wearing um, home. So I will show you guys. So you guys, so these, I packed like two pairs, maybe add like a couple more under, under there. <laughs> and these, cause you know, you don't know what would happen. I got some socks. And these are the maternity pajamas that I got from H&M. They are super soft, so they come with shorts, and they come with um, like the shirt that, let me just open it up, a shirt that, it's like a nursing pajama. And I just feel like it's gonna be like super comfy to wear home. My mom told me to pack pants on the way home, so I have, a pair actually coming in the mail sometime this week if we don't get admitted later and then that's for the front side of this travel pouch for and then it has another zipper here for my postpartum thingies so let's start with in this mesh pocket. I bought um, these wipes, like they're all over wipes, but they're like meant for like down there um, from Sweet Spot Labs. So it's my first time trying this. I did like research on um, really good brands or um, products to use for like after giving birth and stuff. And I got wipes. I don't know if wipes are gonna work, but I just got them because they're a good travel, like, you can use them anywhere. Um, I got two like pull-up postpartum uh, diaper underwear. I have my maternity belt in here just in case I have to do like some walking or something. I don't know. I it's it. I just brought it. <laughs> um, I got. A couple nursing pads, um, a couple overnight, you know, um, pads, sanitary pads, and I heard dermaplast was like something that you, that is a lifesaver for, you know, down there, for like um, pre, pre, postpartum care. Um, it says pain, burn, and itch, so I have that, and. I have a couple things that they, I'm pretty sure they have this or they will give it to me at the hospital, but they're like the cold packs and an extra like nursing, like one of these, but it's like thinner, like the hospital ones. Okay, so those go in there. There's a 
couple of things actually that are supposed to go in here but don't fit and I forgot. Um, I bought these really comfy Calvin Klein's. They're nursing bras. They're cotton and they're a little damp. Um, I just washed them last night. I bought a hefty amount of pairs of these because they were on sale on Black Friday and I bought like 10. Um, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna throw them back in the dryer to dry more, but I'm gonna be packing this. Um, okay, what else do I have that needs to be in here? Oh, yes. Um, I bought this last minute, the Freedom Mom, like, bidet. They said this really works with, you know, you know what this is for. Like, it's for cleaning the thingy. But, yeah, <laughs> I bought this. And this, I don't know, um, I'm going to try to fit that in there. And I have compression socks. So, on top of the other regular socks but there um so i'm gonna zip this up for now and see or maybe i could fit this in here and hope for the best but that is what is inside this pink postpartum personal underwear sock bag that i have going on Okay, so next up we have our baby bag. It's so cute. Shout out to my sister for getting this for us last Christmas. It's a Herschel um, sprout bag, I think is what you call it. Um, and it's actually a diaper bag and it comes with its own little changing pad, which is so cute. And I didn't want to use it because I didn't want it to get like dirty. Or get germs on it because you know COVID. Um, I have another diaper bag on the way but it's not here yet so we're gonna be taking this one worst case. Um, so let's see what's in here. So first we have I'll start with the baby clothes that I also put in his own little mesh thingy. It's so cute. Um, so I'll show you what I have. So I got two um, burp cloths, like super absorbent cotton kinds. I got, one second. Um, two little, I mean, I guess I thought these were swaddles. I got them from H&M. Um, the pattern's like super cute, but it's also organic cotton um and I rolled them up they're they're like the size of handkerchiefs so I might just use them as like a little probably like a burp bleh, barf cloth you could call it that a burp cloth as well um a little binky pacifier holder um this is one of the clothes I already rolled them up I could show you how I rolled them up it's like a really cool Marie Kondo type of deal going on right here where you snap the bottoms of the onesies and it just like holds in place um i want to show you how cute they are but um i'll probably do that in like a baby haul video or something soon we'll see um so i got a short sleeve i got this cute little burnt orange like um like th their pants the cotton pants um one long sleeve onesie um, I can link everything below or like I'll probably post a picture somewhere. I don't know. This is probably not I'll post it here if it does <laughs> um, But a onesie I got three little oh two like the receiving blankets and another short sleeve little shirt and I think I have another one in there, but they're they kind of look similar so there's that for his stuff in here. Next, I'm gonna go on to his little plastic container that probably also used to contain a fitted sheet. 
or a bed set, a bed sheet set. But I got a little size one sample pack of a Millie Moon diapers. I'm excited to try these because look at the, it's so cute. Like the packaging, like sold. Um, so it's six to eleven pounds. So if he does come out early, I hope it it fits. But I'm pretty sure they they do have some stuff there. I I also got some size one. I think they're Pampers or Huggies. Um, but I packed like four just in case. And some Hello Bello um, baby wipes <laughs> in here. There you go. So that is what is in there. My husband's nose always gets stuffy. So I always need to carry around some Kleenex for him. And it's just easier to like open this bag instead of our personal bag. So I just threw that in here. A new pack of masks, cause you have to have masks at the hospital or everywhere you go. Make sure you guys still wear masks, you know, just to be safe. Um, and this, I have it, I, I, or I just ordered this. Um, that's why the paper is still on, but I just wanted to show you guys. It is the Nano Bebe little cooler. And it's so cute, I thought it was gonna be like a lot smaller and just hold like the width of the baby bottle, but it's actually, you could fit two if you wanted. Um, so I have that and it comes with like an ice pack, which has not been frozen yet, cause I don't know if we're gonna be using it anyways at the hospital. Um, I bought a pack of two of these from Nano Baby, the silicone um, bottles. They're so cute. I sterilized them already, so they're ready to go just in case. So I bought, I brought one, and I also bought these LV catch, LV catches, like the breast milk catchers. Um, I might not bring it because it's, I'm probably not going to be needing it um, over there at the hospital because. If I do catch anything, I'll have to transfer it and we won't have access to like a freezer or anything. But that's just in there for, for fun. <laughs> um, and one last very important thing that is already in here that I wanna show you is this, it's a binder for documents because you're gonna do a lot of paperwork there. Um, the birth certificate, um, any other necessary paperwork that you have to put in here, um, I would just recommend bringing one where you could just easily just store all your documents. And it's, I just plan for this to be our baby records, like document holder for the rest of his life. <laughs> or not the rest of his life, but you know what I mean. Um, so that goes in there. Um, I got this out here. And it's really cool because it's the Munchkin sanitizer. So shout out to um, our friend who got this from our registry. I love it so much. So I got two pacifiers in here because I can't choose. Um, so this one's from ha Habea. Habea. Um, so it's like all one material. It's like silicone and it's all like one mold. Um, so it's Habea and Snuggle Me Organic. That's where I got this from. And the other one is from Bibs, and it's a dark gray one. So like before my baby uses it, or after I wash it, I just click this little button here, and it sanitizes the baby. So cute. And then there's like, this has two front pockets as well. And I just have some disinfecting wipes, some wet ones, disinfecting wipes, some travel size, hand sanitizers because pandemic and because hospital and there's a couple other things that I am going to pack here and they are in here so they're my personal things so first this is an underwear holder from Calvin Klein so the undies that I bought came in here but I wanted to use it as a little makeup bag um, and I have the Lara Mercier 
um, facial tinted moisturizer that I use every day. And my two do favorites from ColourPop, uh, Cheek Do and their, tint, uh, their blotted lipstick. So I got that and that goes in there. And probably my um, brow pencil that I forgot to throw in here. But I plan on putting this probably just in the personal bag. Um, what else? Another thing that I forgot to mention is I got um, Legendary Milk's Nip Dip. So it's a nipple cream for, you know, moisturizing. I don't know how bad it's going to get, but I plan on exclusively breastfeeding. And if I'm lucky enough, lucky or not, if I'm lucky enough, of course, like I might be ending up needing this. So I'll just throw that in here for now in another underwear pouch. Um, I also bought like a starter kit from Booby Milk Bar, Booby Bar. And these are lactation supplements or lactation like snacks. I'm probably not gonna bring the whole box, but I'll, I'll take a couple. But I also have like a huge, it's like a huge set and it also comes with a water bottle. Um, I'm excited to try them, but I'm, I decided on just bringing the um, oatmeal chocolate chip bars. So I'll take a couple and shove it in this bag because it's way easier. Or probably I'll, I'll probably get um, like a snack bag or something. Another thing I'm gonna bring for hair is like these hair clips and a comb. I got these from TJ Maxx. The colors are like super cute. I got, I've been eating uh, keto snacks and like low calorie snacks because of gestational diabetes, which I can share with you guys in another video, but um, I got these low sugar, zero, not zero calorie, but low calorie um, brownies. And we can't forget our charger, so I have like a super long cord fast charger for my phone and some water a huge water bottle I'll probably bring two but this is the Brita water bottle with um like the sippy cup thing like the straw and it has like the filter inside so like even though your water is already filtered and you want it to be like super extra clean this one <laughs> um what else Oh, another super important thing is my prenatals. So in case I do stay there for a couple of days waiting for the baby to arrive, I'll still be needing to take my prenatal vitamins. So I have me and my husband's vitamins in here. Um, and I'll be putting that in this bag as well. So it's like easy to access. Whew. So there we have it. That is what is inside my baby bag and our personal bag so i hope this video helped um and you know i hope i reminded anyone of anything that they needed to bring that was already like in their heads but they like totally forgot and they're like oh yeah we need one of those sanitizer thingies <laughs> just kidding or i don't know like sometimes you, you just forget you forget stuff um but anyways um, if you want to know of, if you want to know more of what else is going to be going on throughout the day, I'm probably going to be vlogging the rest of the day today. Um, we, we have this whole agenda lined up, so I'm probably going to be wearing the same thing, but if this video goes up and that video goes up, go ahead and click that video to see our pregnancy, like my pregnancy journey kind of a little story time and what we're gonna be doing within the day because anytime the baby could come and I don't know how long I'll be in the hospital and stuff so if anyone's going through a similar you know situation I hope this video helps and I hope all my other videos help other future moms or other very curious people out there in the world. 
um, and I am happy to share this journey with you guys. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe this video for more. Um, if you want me to create like any content, just let me know in the comments below and I will be happy to do them for you. Uh, thanks again and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.